and Sacho Luis Noguera Serrano, President of the European Way Society. We are here in Valencia, Spain. We are preparing, studying together for our next, uh, next graduation, in my case, Shidoshi. And in the case of Oscar Monsalve, that is uh, my dojo cho here in the school for Sensei. And we are here studying with Shidoshi Jordan some uh, characteristic and interesting uh, studies regarding the most ancient part of the school. There we, are, we have just finished the, the part of Sue, the part of the collection, and the part of then the part of the traditions. But uh, we have more studies that covers specific details that the season apply in different situations. Today we are going to explain two different studies that uh, are named as Hamupo and Ratsute. First of all, let's go for the Hamupo. The first one, Ha, comes from Hachi, that means eight. The second, uh, Kanji, that is called Mu, it's like for empty or emptiness. And the last Kanji, it's called, uh, it said, uh, Po, that comes from Kusureru, that means to and do to destroy, to collapse. Then uh, these are some specific uh, points to attack that the season employed in the past in order to, to destroy or to collapse or to fall down completely an enemy that is so strong. Then the study becomes in the following idea. For example, if we have the opponent with a very strong position, for example, he is wanting to be so uh, hot, so solid, it will be very difficult to, to take him down, okay? Because he is so strong, it's difficult to move, difficult to apply anything. Then, they understand that uh, he has a basic or a central uh, emptiness in, in his body. This central is applied by some points that make him to collapse down. Is to say, for example, if he is so strong here, I will only make a, a soft touch that in a specific point will him to, to, to get weak. For example, just here, I go to the side and applying pressure with my, with my, my, my fingertip here, it will be so strong in the beginning. He will be, uh, he will feel uh, more weak, and at the final, we could take him down. This is the beginning of the study because, of course, this is not a real situation. We are only studying what happens if his body is so strong. His body could be attacking myself, but the pressure. Is, uh, it's uh, making him to get weak. If we take a closer look for the way to apply, we have here the clavicula, and applying pressure under the clavicula on the subclavicular nerve here, it will make that, make like a hook with my fingers, my fingertips, and going inside. This is the first way to apply. As I have explained, uh, the name has the eight because there are eight ways of studying. And these eight ways of study or eight points or primary points could be applied by touch, that it's called sawari, or applied by impact, by strike, that it's called the kansu. Then, in the first way, in the first only to apply uh, by, uh, by a sequence, he will attack me, for example, or he will, uh, when we are uh, saying about attack, he could also to draw a sword or whatever the attack he, he will try to do. But it will be very interesting. For example, when he is trying to punch, I enter striking, first of all. This could make him to fall. The idea was that he fall uh, in order to go to a darker side because in the night, the the, the, this, the area close to the floor, close to the ground, it will be more dark. Then it will be impossible to see, impossible to see what is happening around in this dark side. Then, for example, 
as I have swaying first the walls striking and after the, the ground and the season could apply whatever they like. This is the idea of what is called hammer pull regarding the eight emptiness or the, their eight empties uh, to collapse the enemy. Then this is the first study we have only make a small excerpt, a small explanation about this first study that is so interesting because having the primary secondary points you have the ancient ways that this is very very interesting this is a very effective way to, to make to fall the enemy with only a small touch, a small uh, strike and uh, as you have seen, it's uh, very effective, we are very close uh, to, to taking down. The second uh, of, the, of the studies today is called about Ratsu Te. Uh, ratsu comes from Hishigi, that means to, to smash, means to, uh, to press. And Te comes from body, then it's the wave to smash the body. These are specific studies of the season in order to make different kind of pressures that are so, so violent. Then the idea is to crush the bones of the enemy applying uh, this kind of leverage. For example, the idea is, for example, to join my hands in order to make like a uh, smashing with my bones, uh, the, the upper or the lower limbs in different circumstances and linking this, this idea of pressure with, for example, katame no giko. These studies come from the ones explained before in another tokubetsu called kumobito, that were, that, uh, were the forms regarding uh, how to employ like the, the spider fighting, the spider battles, and the way how human, how the persons, the people, uh, could apply this kind of techniques. Then, in this, in this idea, what we are going to uh, explain is the following. For example, if he strikes or he punches, try to punch in the same way, we have, for example, some protection. I could go maybe for this, okay, like applying a choke, and my hand goes for this point or for this, making, for example, a jimmy or crushing for example, uh, what is his, uh, his neck here in order to make him go down, to throw the mount to this position. But at the same time we are ending, I slide my hand to my elbow and at the same time I am applying pressure to the clavicula and opening, opening with this hand, uh, with this wrist, what is his uh, mental area. I go, as I have explained, I slide my hand and at the first time I press her this on the, on, the, uh, on the pit, okay, on the petrols here in order to make this kind of pressure and it's so strong. At the same time I could pass, I could also crush here, crush here, I could apply pressure on this side, crush. And this is so violent because I apply the tips of my body in order to break the bones. It's to say, when I fall, as you have seen, one, passing to the other side, two, crossing through the nose, the eye, etc. Then this is one kind of application of what is called that's today. Let's go for example, other kind of situation, other explanation regarding rats to take. Okay, for example, when he tries to choke my neck, for example, in a halakajime, okay? For example, we are here in a very difficult situation, okay? Then we try to, maybe to strike to the sides, and it's very difficult because when he close uh, uh, the control, it's difficult to me. Then my idea is pass to the side and have, on this side please, I have control, I have passed my hand on, his, uh, on the band of his arm and the forearm here. Then, with the other hand, I join the hands and right now I have space, I could pass to the side 
for taking out here. Now I have the idea of the rat today because I could crush here, smash here the bones and go into the side. Right now, going to this situation, I could go to the head and here having this so violent, also passing and maybe here breaking and passing to the side, breaking here the wrist or smashing here in order to break. Then we could apply this because remember falling in this situation when we are just here, please one more time. I have here the control. I could try with this situation in order to fall using the tips of my knee. For example, here to break. And this, of course, this is only, uh, how to say, only a pressure in order to fall. But the idea was fall at the same time I have the, not the control, the smashing technique here, crushing the bones here. I could crush fall here. To the to the ankle area or breaking what it's the the calf bones then this is only a small explanation because coming from this we could go far far we could pass through several studies not only regarding these also coming from brain tattoo studies katameno is to say ground fighting etc is to say the study goes uh, farther then, these are the, in order to summarize what we have seen today, we have the Hamut ball, it's to say, uh, the study uh, that regards where points to hit, to strike, in order to collapse the enemy, and the second study called Ratsute, that it's the way to apply pressures in order to cross bones, to cross the limbs of the, of the opponent. Then, as in other situations, other circumstances. Thank you very much for the attention. Hope you have liked it. And um, please be awaiting for the for the next uh, for the next explanation. Thank you very much.